Okay, students, welcome to Learn with Reza. Back again with the video related to inverse proportion. Uh, that is rapid session, actually the speed revision session for inverse proportion today. So it's not a big paper, it's a very small paper. The children who are willing to get the paper and do it. So you all can get the paper from the number below I have described in the description box. So suppose if you have missed the recordings of the other sessions, you all can watch them in my channel, the speed revision for the lesson. So without much talks, let's go back to the lesson. Inverse proportion, or we can say this as indirect proportion. Look at the first question. Fill in the cage 20 is to 8 equal cage is to 2. So how has this second term reduced to 2? 8 divided by 4. So this 20 also should be divided by 4. 20 divided by 4, how much you get? 5. So second question, write the following in the simplest form. 2 meter to 40 centimeter. You can say units are different. Always remember in ratios, units should be same. So we have to convert them into the same unit. Now you can see centimeter, centimeter cancel, zero, zero cancel. 20 and four both are divisible by four times table. So you get five is to one. Third question, when a certain amount of money is divided in the ratio, three is to two, Small portion is rupees 8,000. That means this is 8,000. So if two is representing 8,000, one portion is representing 4,000. So this should be what? Four into three, 12,000. And this should be 8,000 already as said. So 12 plus eight, you are getting the total amount. They have asked to find the total amount. So 20,000 rupees. So how your marks are given? Two marks for this and conversion two marks for this two marks and for writing this one, you are getting two marks. So altogether, first question, two marks, second question, four marks and third question, two marks. Now look at the fourth question. When a certain amount of money is divided between A and B in the ratio of five is to three, A received rupees 8,000 more than the amount B received. Find the total amount of money that is divided. So how can we do this question now? A has received 8,000 rupees more than what B has received. So that means the difference between A and B. First of all, you have to get the difference. Difference between A and B, five minus three is two. So this two is equal to 8,000, right? So let's say like a, a certain amount, two X will take, Right, so we'll take this as 5x and 3x. So 2x is equal to 8,000. Therefore, x is equal to 8,000 divided by 2, 4,000. So totally how much portion? 5 and 3 means 8. So 8 parts are equal to how much? If 1x is 4,000, 8x is 4 times 8, 32,000 rupees has been divided among the, among the A and B. So how marks are given for getting the difference? One mark for finding one portion, x is equal to 4,000. Then the final answer, you are getting another two marks. Altogether, for the fourth question, you are getting five marks. So how simple it is. Now we'll go to the question number five. It takes eight men seven hours to complete a certain task. Now indirect proportion means, I'll tell you shortly, when one term increases, the other term decreases. Now it says eight men. This is called as man is to hours. Literally man days questions come, man hours questions, so you get. So eight men, so men, eight men take seven hours to complete a certain task, find the total work in man hours. Total work means you have to multiply. Eight times seven, 56 man hours. You can write down 56 man hours. You get two marks. Due to a power cut, only two and a half hours worked in first day, find the remaining amount of work to be done. Two and a half hours only yeah, only two and a half hours was worked in the first day. So you have to find out the remaining amount of work. So that means already you have man is two hours. So eight men work for seven hours. Now they are saying they worked only for two and uh, four and a half hours. So these eight men, they have worked for four and a half hours. Okay, so here the task is 56. So here the task is... 9 upon 2 multiplied by 8 means you are getting 
36. So this much of a task is already done. Now, what is the remaining one? We can find remaining work. 56 minus 36. 20. 20 man hours of work is remaining. So for this, you are getting two marks for finding the answer. Okay. So altogether, fifth question, you are getting totally four marks. Okay, now we'll go into the question number six. Look at the question number six now. Listen very carefully. It says a vehicle which travel at the speed of 40 kilometer per hour, okay? 40 kilometer per hour takes four and a half hours to travel a certain distance, four and a half hours. Find the time taken to travel the same distance at 45 kilometers per hour. If it is 45 kilometers per hour, what is the time take? That's what you have to find. So how can we do this question now? So we can find the task here. This is actually speed is to time. So what is the task here? 40 into four and a half. Four and a half means nine upon two. So that means 20 into 980. So 45 into X is also equal to 180 because same distance they told. So can't we find X now? 180 divided by 45, you are getting four hours. So finding this answer, you get two marks. With the working, you have to do it, okay? So sixth question, Roman number one, you get two marks. So sixth question, Roman number two says, Tube A takes, it's a different one. Tube A takes 12 minutes to fill a tank. Tube B takes eight minutes to fill the same tank. Find the time taken to fill the tank if both tubes are open. This is A and B. Suppose if only A, it's 12 minutes. If it is only B, it's eight minutes. So if both are open, how can you find? <coughs> Actually, sorry, the difference between these two tubes is like around uh, four, four minutes difference is there. Okay, so suppose if both are open, so eight minutes in B and extra four minutes from B, A. So altogether, you are just taking only 12 minutes of a time to fill because if both the tanks are open, can you understand? If both the tanks are open, it's altogether 12 minutes. Both the tubes are open. If only one cube is working at a time, it's like this. So we have to get the difference first. That difference should be added to the uh, tube that is pouring less water, less time. So here you get two marks altogether, sixth question, four marks. Now we'll go to the last question. That is the seventh question. Right. The seventh question says that Roman number one, eight men wish to complete a certain task in 10 days, no man days question. But after three days, one man left the work due to an illness. After three days, one man has left the work. Okay, that means seven men. Okay, now the task here is 80. Okay, then mm, uh, one man left the work due to an illness. Find the time taken by others to complete that task. Now, the same task should be completed. How many days will it take now? So, you can find that 7x is equal to 80. Therefore, x is equal to 80 divided by 7. 80 divided by 7. How many more days you can take? Because now it says 8 men can finish the work in 10 days. Eight men can finish the work in 10 days. But after three days, okay, they're telling something. After three days. So until those three days, these seven, eight men were there. After three days means the first three days, tasks are completed. 24 of the task is completed now. 24 of the task is now completed. So 56 of the task is remaining, but only seven men are there. Yes, seven X is equal to 56. Therefore X is equal to eight, eight days. They need eight days. So totally how many days? 
11 days. So this actually, the answer should be eight days. So you get two marks for this one. Uh, and for this one, you get two marks, <laughs> Roman number one. Roman number two, in any camp, in an army camp, there are foods sufficient for 200 men. These questions are very popular in the textbook also. Uh, 200 for 10 days. <clears throat> in the first day, 50 more men joined with them. 50 more men joined with them in the first day itself. Okay. Find the number of days the food will be sufficient. <clears throat> 200 men for 10 days means 2,000. So 250 came means they have only 2,000 this much. How many days will it be enough? So 2,000 divided by 250. 200 divided by 25 will be equal to x. So therefore, another x is equal to 8 days. Only for another 8 days, that would be enough because extra 50 men join. So here you get 2 marks and also finding this, you get 2 marks. Altogether, 7th question, totally you get 8 marks. So children, you can calculate your marks by adding 2 plus for the first question, 2 marks. Second question, 4. Third question, 2. Fourth question, 5 marks. And fifth question, 4 marks. Sixth question, four marks. Seventh question, eight marks. Totally, your marks is out of 29. <clears throat> so just consider it as 30 and calculate your marks. Consider it as 30 and calculate your marks. Put your marks here, then multiply it by 100. So then you are getting your marks according to 100 percentage, like out of 100, how much your marks. So you can comment in the description box how much you scored for this paper. It's not a difficult paper. It's totally based on man days, man hours, and certain ratio questions. So hope this question was clear for you. And thanks for watching. So let's meet up with another video.